What's up everyone? This project right here is very dear to my heart. It was inspired by a bumper sticker. Fuck it, and then you just do it. That's what this is about. This video is about how to assemble this piece once you've downloaded and printed the files. The link is in the description below. I've done all this work on SOLIDWORKS. If you'd like to know more about the design process, let me know in the comments, and maybe in my future videos, I will include that information. The parts just finished printing, so let's go. There's about 20 components. This took about 12 to 13 hours to print. Total cost and material, maybe like four bucks. So if you're making this as a gift for someone, you don't have to let them know about that part of this thing. It's all designed to snap together, so you shouldn't need any tools, but you might need a hobby knife or an X-Acto knife to clean up some of the parts. And you might need a little bit of super glue or crazy glue or hot glue or whatever you have to make sure that everything is stuck together and not coming apart. It shouldn't need it, but it might depending on your printer. The first thing we're gonna do is take the it, and you might have to clean out these holes right here. So all I'm doing with the knife is just scraping along the edges, and that's cleaning out all the filament that, because this is printing as an overhang inside. Make sure when you're printing this, do not print infills inside the part because that will be impossible to get out. But with a little knife and scrape action, the part is perfectly ready to go. So once you clean that hole out, you're gonna take your top piece and this snaps right into it. So make sure the eye is gonna be closer to these two holes. So just like this, push it in. You might need to put a little bit of force on it to get it in, but boom, just like that. A little scary, but it should not go anywhere once it's in. The next thing you're gonna do is take this gear with this crafty logo on it, and that goes into the side of the base, into the middle hole. It just pops in just like that. Then you're gonna take this gear, basically a flat, it's called a spur gear, and that's gonna press onto this nub right here. And it'll just pop on with a little snap. So you put it on, give it two thumbs, and press down. Give it some spins back and forth to make sure that it's, it's moving decently well. And then you're gonna grab this shaft right here. It's a little circle shaft with a hex on the end of it. And that goes into this hole right here. It just pops right in. Give it a couple spins as well. Make sure that it's turning relatively loose. We'll work on that a little bit more later. Then you're gonna grab this small gear right here. And that's gonna slide onto the end of the shaft. And you might have to give it a little bit of force to pop it into place, but once it's all the way in, give it some more spins and make sure everything is running decent. To finish off this part of the mechanical assembly, you're gonna take this crank and that's just gonna snap onto the end of this shaft right here. For the next step, you're gonna take this other gear and that's gonna snap into this hole right here. So you might have to just wedge it in kind of on an angle and then it will just press in with a little bit of finagling. Then you're gonna take this little C-clamp and that's just gonna slide into the slot on the back of the gear. Now that you have that, it's time to start working on our little guy here. So you're gonna take your torso piece and there's a slot in the top of it. You're gonna first take your knife and try to clean it out. Just make sure you're careful that you're not cutting your fingers. It doesn't have to be a perfect job, but it has to be good enough that this little neck piece slots into it. You're gonna slide the head onto the other side. And I recommend, instead of pushing against the neck, because you might break it, take a flathead screwdriver, wedge it into the gap, and then you can push against that to get the head in. That is probably the trickiest part of the build, but I know you're resourceful and I have faith in you to get it done. 
Also, if you break the neck piece, it like takes five minutes to print it again. So not a big deal. Maybe worth printing a couple of them at first, just in case. The next thing you're gonna do, once you have that head on and it's given a nice wobble, you're gonna take the leg pieces and you're gonna attach them to the torso. And it's pretty simple. You just take the torso, take the leg, snap it in. Make sure it goes all the way in. Loosen it up a little bit. It doesn't really matter which leg goes on which side because it doesn't matter. This is where you get the freedom of expression in your JBV Creative build. These legs are gonna slot into the top piece through these slots and just make sure that the bend of the legs is going towards the eye, just like this. These holes will snap into these nubs. So you know you've got it in right when the legs are just pivoting on those nubs and it's not coming out. Then you're gonna take the arms. The arms, if you look at them, they have one side's raised and one side isn't. The raised side goes into the eye and the not raised side goes into the torso. And I found the easiest way to do this is to snap them both in kind of at the same time. So hold one, hold the other, and just snap them in. And then do the other side. Once the arms are in, it may need a little bit of loosening it out. So hold the eye sort of like this and grab the torso and just. <laughs> what can I say? Just give it a few, a few solid humps. See if you can move it with the bottom piece. Get that head really moving. Perfect. And you'll find it will, it will loosen up quite nicely. You're gonna take this connecting piece and you're gonna pop it into the hole in the gear. And it just pops in. Okay, now you're gonna take your top piece and that's just gonna slide on on top just like this. Make sure that the T is lined up with this crank. And then the final assembly step is to take this pin and then you're gonna pop it through this hole and then through this hole in the back of it. And that's basically it, that's the assembly. So if it's not running very smoothly, there's a couple things you can do. The first thing is to just keep cranking it and eventually things will start to run together. But if that's not working to your satisfaction, here's the magic trick. WD-40. Fixes everything. So get that in all the joints, in between the gears, everywhere, and then just crank it a few times and it will start to run like it's butter. So here it is, a little bit of inspiration for those times where you're feeling stuck, for those times where you wanna just make something happen but you just can't get yourself to do it. Give this a few cranks, just say to yourself, fuck it, and go get it done. Thank you guys so much for following along, for downloading the file, and for inspiring me to just say fuck it and keep going. So if you have any questions or comments, any bits of inspiration that comes from this machine, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And otherwise,